Day in the life of an unemployed YouTuber. I wake up at 7 a.m. on the dot every morning. I try to get out of bed immediately, but it doesn't always work out. Sometimes I'll like struggle for 10 minutes, then finally get out of bed. After that, I immediately go take a cold shower. The reason why I do this is because I actually used to struggle really bad with just waking up. I'd eat breakfast and then immediately fall back asleep until 12 or 1 in the afternoon. Ever since I started taking these cold showers immediately when I wake up, it helps me stay awake and it keeps my circadian rhythm in check. After pondering for a couple of minutes about what I'm doing with my life, I go and make some tea. I really enjoy this. I always wanted to consistently drink green tea every day but when i finally got around about doing it i it always be really late in the day and i didn't want to consume the caffeine too late in the day and affect my sleep at night so drinking green tea in the morning is amazing i'll usually drink either jasmine green tea or matcha green tea they're both super dope and they make you feel super good after this i usually go for a walk and walk my dogs this usually takes around an hour it's a great way to start the day because you get blood flow and just over all being outside ever since i got lower back issues it's been really hard for me to get outside and do things and walking was a huge fix for that i take about five of these walks every single day now this is where the fun starts i literally stare at my computer and do youtube <laughs> I'll work on my podcast channel clips, I'll work on my second channel, and most importantly, I work on my main channel. Currently, my routine of making videos is in an entire week, I'll record three different videos, and over the course of the next three weeks, I'd edit all of them and then be uploaded, and I found that that was a great routine for me to really enjoy making YouTube videos because for the longest time, I would spend weeks working on one video, it would demotivate me because I'd get so so bored working on one single project and with recording three videos within a week I can work on three different projects whenever I want to so I can work on one video for one hour and then get bored of it go on to the next one and keep on doing that over and over I actually increased my productivity on YouTube so much so with taking a bunch of walks and also working on YouTube three o'clock is when I eat right now I'm doing OMAD or one meal a day it's basically basically a one hour feeding window but I'm kind of doing two hour feeding window right now to get myself used to it because I don't want to end up quitting I actually want to stick to OMAD I've been doing different intermittent fastings and water fastings for the last oh it like 10 months now i did four hour intermittent fasting for a long time from 8 to 12 i didn't like it and then i did 8 to 4 for the last two months and that was all right now i'm doing 3 to 5 and it actually feels really good and my inflammation in my entire body has gone down so much and i feel really good Bro, I really done burnt the biscuits. After 5 p.m., I kind of don't even keep a disciplined routine anymore. I kind of just let the day flow with whatever I want to do. This has kind of been to its own detriment lately because I'll find myself not doing anything productive, really. So I probably have to get back into forcing myself to do things like play the banjo, write stuff down. I've been doing a lot of reading recently in this free time. I'll just lay down in bed and read a book for a a couple hours then realize it's 12 o'clock at night and way past my bedtime and i'm like crap i like to go to bed at around 10 30 at night and be off electronics around two hours before i go to bed bro it's eight o'clock And that's the daily routine of an unemployed YouTuber. Now, I just want to say to you guys real quick that this daily routine is totally unrealistic to a normal person who has normal stuff to do. This is only possible because I'm unemployed. I feel that a lot of people out there say that if they had 16 hours of free time every day to chase their dream, that they'd be able to achieve it a lot faster than if they were chasing their dream while they had a normal job. But I would like to say that 
That's definitely not true. When I was in high school working two jobs and going to school at the same time, I was putting more hours into YouTube than I ever would now. And yeah, there's a lot of values that change. Uh, you know, I don't like looking at a computer screen for that long anymore. It's not entertaining to me. I don't enjoy it. But there's also the fact of drive and motivation. When you have a job, time becomes a lot scarcer. And so what you end up doing is you want to use that scarcity of time on important things. For instance, in high school, I didn't watch TV. I didn't recreationally play video games. And if I was playing a video game, it was to make a video or stream. And all my time was committed to my YouTube channel. I didn't hang out with friends. And that's just how it was. And I put way more time than I ever do now into doing YouTube. And now that I have 16 hours of free time a day, the time that I put into YouTube is so minute compared to when I was in high school. Now there are some pros and cons to living a life like this. For instance, I can chase other things other than YouTube now. I'm doing a lot of reading, I do a bunch of other endeavors, and that's awesome. Because now you get to put your eggs in more than one basket. When in school, I would only put my eggs in one basket because that's all I had the time for. But yeah, always appreciate the position that you're in. I'm super lucky to be in the position that I'm in right now, even if I don't necessarily enjoy it. And you being able to even have the ability to chase a dream, you're lucky to be able to do that. So yeah, thank you for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.